Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a few years ago, I had the pleasure and honor of meeting Ron Richard from the Harvard University Graduate School of Education and one of the senior researchers on the Project Zero. Now, I had been using the visible thinking routines from his work, from Project Zero, and I actually have most of his books, so I'd been using them for quite a few years. However, once I actually attended his workshop, I realized that I wasn't using them as effectively as I could have. I had mainly been using the visible thinking routines as exit tickets and there's nothing wrong with using them as exit tickets because there were wonderful ways for me to see students shift in thinking, I could formatively assess what they could understand and not understand and then plan my subsequent lessons according to what their challenges were or what their feedback was. But what he taught me was, well, why don't we actually incorporate the visible thinking routine into the lesson so it's actually part of the lesson. So we ask our students to metacognitively reflect on their learning during the lesson and then the visible thinking routine is used as a vehicle to be able to promote discussion and help students to articulate their thinking and also their understanding. So let me give you an example of a visible thinking routine that I actually adapted for the classroom. So I love that routine, connect, extend, challenge. And in case you don't know it, connect means that you ask students, well, what were the ideas that actually connected to what you already knew? Extend means that you're gonna ask students, well, what has actually extended or pushed your thinking after this lesson or after the series of lessons? And then challenges that you ask your students, what are the challenges that you faced while you were actually learning about this topic? Now, I always like to add in a little fourth prompt, and that is, how do we overcome that challenge? So I like students to really think about what their challenges are and what they can do in a concrete way to actually overcome the challenge that they have. So what I do is I ask my students to complete these four prompts, connect, extend, challenge, and then overcome on four separate pieces of paper. And then I collect all of these pieces of paper into the four separate piles. I then ask students to group into groups of no more than six. If you have a big class, then maybe you can have two groups dealing with each pile. So let's say if I have a group of six that's looking at all the connects, I have a group of six that's looking at all the extends, a group that's looking at challenges, and then the group that's looking at overcome. Now each group actually has the task of looking at all of the responses within the connects, as an example, and looking for themes and sorting them out into categories. And you'd be really surprised at the themes and the commonalities that actually arise from looking at all the connects or all the extends, all the challenges, and all the overcomes. Now what's really important is that after after students in these groups have actually come up with these categories and themes that have emerged, you then ask one person from each group to form a new group. So the new group has four students, one student that was in the connect, one student in the extend, one student in the challenge, and the one student in the overcome. And you ask each of those students to feed back the major themes and the different main ideas that emerge from each of the connect extend challenge and overcome. So I, I hope that you found this useful. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and please feel free to make comments. I'm really excited to engage in some dialogue and conversation with you. So until next time, bye!